All right, let's talk power. I've been getting a lot of questions regarding of the power draw on those two gaming computers, the Lenovo Idea Center and the HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop with the same configurations, but different graphics cards. Of course, we have the GTX 1660 Ti on the Lenovo and we have the EVGA uh, RTX 2060 inside the HP. Everything else is pretty much the same. So a lot of questions, people are saying, hey, is this power supply gonna be enough? Is the 400 watt 80 plus platinum will be enough on the HP for upgrades? Will the 310 watt 80 plus platinum will be enough on the Lenovo? Well, it's time for us to test that. We're not using anything fancy equipment, anything like that. All the testing is done with a kilowatt between the actual grid and in the computer. So we know how much wattage we are actually pulling off the wall. Uh, keep in mind the bold power supplies uh, 80 plus platinum. So with the very, very good efficiency, but at the same time, it's not 100% uh, as you guys are aware. Uh, but again, spoiler alert, there's a lot of headroom for you guys to upgrade. So in my opinion and what I'm seeing in testing and swapping different graphics cards, there's a plenty, plenty of headroom uh, to upgrade your GPU if you want to. The power usage when the computers are off on kind of a standby situation right before you uh, turn them on, the wattage is 0.1 to 0.2. Uh, that's what the computer is drawing while it's just sitting there. Uh, once we turn them on and we wait for everything to load up, we have uh, them sitting in idle. Pretty much identical results on both Lenovo and HP. We are having wattage hovering around 30 watts, so something between 28 and 30. This is what I saw pretty much across uh, both of them for a long period of time. So you're looking at a very, very low uh, wattage when they are idling just in windows not doing anything uh, fancy waiting for you to start working or playing uh, the other thing once we are starting to upgrade uh, drivers we're downloading different updates from uh, windows the wattage jumps up a little bit more so you're looking around 50 uh, to about 60 watts that's just for your information you know how much wattage is going to pull and the next thing is, of course, gaming. We're gonna do uh, some gaming. We're gonna run some tests as normal, some benchmarks and some popular games and see how much uh, power wattage has been pulled off the wall. Uh, first thing, we're gonna jump in and look at, uh, of course, Fortnite. What's happening when uh, we're playing with Fortnite? Fortunately, it's not that demanding, actually. I've seen no more than 160 watts being pulled. So normally it's hovering around 150, 155 to about 158. But let's say the maximum is 160. So I think this is very good. I mean, you can, uh, you can imagine, you can upgrade uh, anything you want, basically, you know, and this is uh, 180 watts max with, of course, using the GTX 1660 Ti. Pretty much the same uh, wattage we are getting with RTX 2060 as well. Moving on to the next one, of course, we the first one we're gonna test intensively is the uh, Lenovo computer, um, the Idea Center. Absolutely love this one. Very, very nice choice if you guys manage to grab it on a good price. Um, testing some of our static benchmarks. We, of course, we have the Far Cry New Dawn, and after that, we're gonna have the latest uh, uh, Tomb Raider. Far Cry New Dawn, I think the peak I've seen is about uh, 202, 205 watts. So normally it's hovering around 200 watts. Again, a lot of headroom. The power supply is 310 watts and you're pulling about 200 off the wall. So you can definitely upgrade. My recommendation personally is uh, to probably not go above 2060 RTX 2060. Maybe if you get uh, some of the lower uh, wattage uh, 20, uh 60 supers or 2070 and by lower wattage i mean the ones that only have eight pin uh, pci express connector maybe that's okay but i personally will feel comfortable only up to 2060 with that 210 watt uh, despite the fact that we have quite of a, a good headroom up there 
but that that's what i would personally do of course it's up to you if you want to upgrade to something uh bigger uh again the maximum draw here i saw when i benchmarked with uh, tomb raider about 210 to 215 let's say 215 watts was the max where the cpu and the gpu were constantly stressed for a long period of time so again uh with the 1660 ti no problem whatsoever you're not even gonna feel any uh even, even the fan of the power supply uh, turning on with the 2060 rtx on the same configuration uh again we are pulling a little bit more but nothing significant 230 watts it's something that uh, i think you have a lot of headroom uh, to be comfortable with that power supply uh, again the fan of the power supply very rarely turned on with that one as well uh, and keep in mind that that evga uh, rtx 2060 is factory overclocked in fact it's probably one of the highest level uh, overclocked uh, rtx 2060 so in theory pulls a little bit more power than the normal stock or founders edition rtx 2060s now more interesting is moving to the hp again a stand on standby we have 0.2 watts and then again in idling in windows without doing anything special it's hovering around 30 watts uh the highest demanding game at the moment that i can stress at this configuration is play delivers the moon with all the rtx goodies enabled everything else maxed out uh, playing for at least 30 minutes i think the highest peak of wattage i saw with this uh, overclocked uh, factory overclock rtx 2060 is around 230 watts so again you have 400 watts platinum power supply and you're only pulling 230 watts let's say let's say even 250 for some incredible reason you you manage to stress everything 100 percent at all time i doubt that it's going to go over 250 watts so you still have 150 watts a headroom um, no wonder i show you guys uh, playing with uh, rtx 2070 on this one no problem whatsoever you can uh, install uh, as soon as long as you find the front form factor obviously uh, because the size becomes the restraint in this particular situation and not the actual power draw so once again if you manage to find something with a decent size that can fit in the in this in this specific case uh rtx 2060 rtx 2060 super rtx 2070 rtx 27 super i think up to rtx 27 super or 2080 you should be good with this power supply no no problem whatsoever again many many questions regarding this one trust me if you look at the hp's website and some of the similar configurations they offer exactly the same power supply that's a 400 watt platinum power supply and they're allowing you to select up to 2070 super so you know that they have accounted about uh you know the headroom and there is enough power in this power supply for you to upgrade to uh these cards if you want to uh, i personally will go i'm going to keep uh, this uh, specific computer with rtx 2060 um, not that i cannot keep it with a 2070 but i'm using the uh, asus 2070 on a different computer um, that's the one that you guys saw on my uh, previous uh, reviews but uh, this is what i'm gonna keep it with now in the future uh, next generation nvidia i'm not sure what's gonna come out but i can promise you as soon as something comes out at the end of the summer as we rumor um, i'm gonna grab any of those mid-range to higher level graphics cards and again test it with these configurations and see what uh, we can get what kind of power draw we can get another um, kind of a upgrade i'm thinking about is maybe grabbing an i7 9700 uh, non-k obviously because it's 65 watts and this is what uh, this motherboard supports uh, which is eight core see if that's going to make any difference uh, in the future so stay tuned on these videos will never stop i'm going to test everything possible for you guys next video coming up will be installing and upgrading the fans again i've received a lot of questions regarding this um, quite simple procedure but if you guys want to see it i'm going to show it to you no problem also another interesting request changing the color of the led on the front for both computers 
I am exploring that option and see if we can kind of DIY or customize that color uh, to make it something else that we want potentially. But again, I'm gonna continue to explore and check on this situation. But for now, as a final words, I can say, feel free to upgrade, no problem whatsoever. You saw the power draws we're getting with 1660 Ti and with RTX 2060. Plenty of headroom, especially for the HP, for the uh, Lenovo. I, my advice personally will be for you to stop around uh, RTX 2060, um, maybe RTX 2060 Super, but personally, I would stick around with RTX uh, 2060. Uh, as for the HP, the sky is the limit pretty much. You can go all the way to uh, 2070 Super, of course, if you find that form factor. So far, I think uh, Zotac and Asus are making these kind of a smaller form factor uh, graphics cards that can fit in ITX cases, which are perfect for this situation. That's pretty much it, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. There will be a lot more coming uh, very soon. I really hope to see you guys on the next video, support me, and until next time guys, you have a wonderful day.